Hey everyone, how you doing? Um, right, I'm finally here with this uh, comic haul of mine now that I've been collecting together for the last few weeks. Um, I'm going to do this in parts, I'm going to make these videos short. So um, I'm going to start off now. Here we have um, something my mate from work bought for me, Chris, and his wife Sarah. And his son Gabriel. This is uh, a Marvel Comics Hero Duo set, which consists of uh, deodorant and shower gel. And they're really nice, actually. You know, they got all the like comic covers on there. And there's one of the uh, Thor comics there. I, I do actually own that one in my collection. So yeah, that's a nice present. Thank you very much. It was actually a Christmas present, but I've uh, not got man to show in it, so uh, there we go, that was the right time. Right, these are the comics I've been picking up lately. Um, these, this is one of two British comics I've bought. Uh, this is called TV Action Countdown number 76. And as you can see, there's Doctor Who on the cover, third incarnation, John Pertwee. And the story's called uh, The Enemy From Nowhere, and this is part six. I bought this uh, intentionally for the uh, cover. I think the cover's wonderful. Nice sec psychedelic look to it. Um, yeah, I've been after this book for a while now, and uh, I'm really happy to have it. So that was a nice pickup. Then we have um, TV action number one, two, three, and uh, this comic here is called The Spoilers or the Doctor Who story. Um, these comics are from uh, 1972 and uh, yeah this one's got a really nice cover as well um, the ones like um, these particular books when they just turned into TV action there's five different Doctor Who ones and I've uh, now got three I only need two uh, to complete the collection there's one about um, Nazis one of the books and then the other one's uh, a Dalek uh, cover as well so I will look forward to picking them up when I uh, get round to it. Right, now we go on to the American books. This is a really nice one. Um, the Spectacular Spider-Man number two. And this is a magazine-sized issue. This is where uh, the Green Goblin regains his memory. Or Norman, Os Norman Osborn regains his memory. That he's, in fact, the Green Goblin. And, yeah, this is a great book first issue is actually in black and white but this one's in colour so yeah I didn't pay very much for that right now we go on to uh, the amazing spider-man number 700 I wasn't a big fan of this issue um, the artwork I didn't like at all and I don't know if I like the direction spider-man's going in to tell you the truth you know Doc Ock being spider-man what's going on he's one of the, his worst enemies you know what I mean it's, no, I just don't agree with it, you know. The story was actually a little bit better than the art I thought in this book, but it weren't that far, you know what I mean? And then I've picked up uh, the Superior Spider-Man number one as well, and I thought this was even worse, to tell you the truth. Improvement on the artwork, but no, I won't be buying this comic. Um, I just don't like the fact that Doc Ock is now Spider-Man, you know, it just doesn't seem possible. And he doesn't act like Spider-Man, he hasn't got that sort of humour to him, so, nah, it doesn't work for me. There we go. Right, um, I've shown you this one before, but I want to show you again. This is uh, Fantastic Four number 218, great cover. You know, this is where uh, Spider-Man and Electro join Fightful 4. I've actually read this comic, so there's a little bit of a twist in it. But uh, if you've never read it, you know, I'll let you work it out for yourself. Right, this is a comic from 1959, and I think this is like reprints of uh, old 40s books. There's a couple of superheroes called Dynamic Man and um, Yankee Girl. It's called Dynamic Comics, number one. Yeah, I was pleased to get this one. Um... Yeah, I've read, I read this yesterday and I really enjoyed it. It's like mainly sort of crime stories. And the company is IW. I can't 
remember what that stands for. International something, I don't know. And then the, in the corner up the top says a top quality comic. So, yeah, very nice. It's, it's not in the best of shape, but for what I paid for it, you know, it was next to nothing. So I'm very happy with that. Right, now we go on to, uh, I think this one is a key issue myself, but no one's really picked up on this. This is X Factor number five. And um, this is uh, the very, very first appearance of Apocalypse. He actually appears on the last panel on, in, you know, on the last page. Um, yeah, that is my personal point. I think this is uh, the first appearance of Apocalypse. But um, this one actually goes for a bit more. This, you know, the, it's, I think it's the fact that it's his first full appearance. So this is number six, X Factor, first full appearance of Apocalypse. And I didn't pay very much for both either of these issues, so I'd pick these up now until they, you know, because if he appears in a future X Men film or whatever, you know, I'm sure this is going to go up. So. Yeah, a nice books to have. And my final one, um, very, very pleased to have this. I'm very excited about this book, and it's a lovely copy. This is uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 46. And this is the uh, first appearance of the Shocker. I'm sure all of you know. Um, yeah, I didn't pay very much for this again. Um, just a beautiful book to have you know it goes very well with my electro first appearance as their sort of um, two characters what deal with electricity and that so I want to pick up number 72 of this book as well one day but uh, right this is the end of the first part so um, I'm gonna um, get on with the second part ASAP and I'll see you soon cheers thank you